Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. A brand new duplication glitch is now available in Scarlet and Violet 3.0.0. So we're going to cover all of the details, how you can take advantage of it in your game. So there is a brand new duplication glitch now available in Scarlet and Violet on its latest version update, which is 3.00. I've got to give a big shout out to Blaine's who has covered this already. And I believe the first person that I've seen covering it, although I do believe it is doing the rounds. So don't know who came up with it first or who has been working on it, but we're covering it here on the channel just to spread a bit of awareness about it. So you can take advantage of it while it is still available because no doubt this will get patched. There are a few prerequisites that you're going to have to do to be able to do this in game. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your party. You're going to want to make sure that you've got your party set up like this. Have five Pokemon in your party. I don't know if that's required. This is just what I've been doing to make this work. Now, the first Pokemon in your party needs to be a Ditto. So you're going to have to go out and get yourself a Ditto and make sure that it hasn't got its hidden ability. It hasn't got that imposter ability, that it's got the limber ability because you don't want it using the hidden ability imposter in this process. Make sure it's just got its regular ability and transform and ensure that it's level 100 because you're going to need it to outspeed Pokemon that we're going to be going up against. Second in your party, you're going to need to have a big Pokemon. I would recommend Curum. I know that Blaine's used the Curum Black, so something big like that is going to be required for this spot. So just use Curum or Curum Black and the two Pokemon that I know this is going to work with. And the only move that you're going to want to have on this Pokemon is going to be in prison. So remove everything else. Just make sure that it's got in prison. It is a level up move for Curum, so it's pretty easy to access. It is a TM though, so you can teach it to other Pokemon. Um, and other Pokemon of that size or even bigger may work for this method as well. But like I say, Curum is what has worked for me. And also, like I say, when Blaine's was doing it, he was using a Curum Black. So just making sure that you've got the Ditto in the first slot and you've got the Curum or the Curum Black in the second spot. I'm sure Curum White will work for this as well. Just make sure that you've got those moves on those Pokemon. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to make sure that you're doing is putting the item that you want to duplicate onto the Curum or the Pokemon in the second slot with that in prison. So you want to just give it an item like a Master Ball, like an Ability Patch, a Gold Bottle Cap. Any of those high cost items are harder to get items. So for this one, we're going to do it for the Safari Ball. I've already done it for the Beast Balls and tried it out and it's worked perfectly so i've got a lot of beast balls right now so safari ball on the curum got all our pokemon set up you're going to want to head over to the savannah rest area too in the terrarium so this is this location here we are in the savannah area head over here because we are looking for a particular tree that we're going to be wanting to do this method so once you're at this fly point what you want to do is head towards this tree directly behind the fly point and what we're going to be doing is looking for a smeagol because we want a smeagol for us to transform into with our ditto and we're going to be wanting to position it pretty precisely in this position here next to this clump of grass right here which is the three clumps of grass which is just between it and the tree so the smeagol we want essentially this location right here so we've got to find its smeagol and get it into about this spot which is directly these three clumps of grass right to the left of us and to the tree to the right of us first things first find a smeagol they spawn pretty regularly in this area here so you can run around you'll be able to find one no trouble at all if there's none spawning in just set your picnic up despawn everything in this area and then take it down and you should get a new set of spawns in and smeagol should pop up but it is a pretty popular Pokemon it might take you a minute or two to find one but you shouldn't have too much issue finding one so once you've found your Smeagol you need to get its attention get that question mark above its head once that appears it will start to follow you so you need to move away from it and lure it towards this patch of grass here with the Smeagol in this position here to the left of it the three clumps of grass to the right of it the tree we want to be facing north and we're going to be wanting to kind of position ourselves directly in line with that tree in the distance. And we just want to encounter it. We want to make sure that we've got a ditto at the start of our party and the curum in the second place with that item that we want to duplicate attached to it. We want to make sure that we're all lined up here and we want to just go in to encounter the smeagol. And this is the first step of this process. So from here, what we're going to want to do is use transform first off, and this is going to allow us to transform into the Smeagol. We need to make sure that we're going first. So this is why having a level 100 ditto is really important. Even put EVs into the speed to make sure that you are always going to be transforming before the Smeagol uses the sketch. It's really important that it sketches the transform. If it doesn't, it's a bit of a bust. You'll have to find a ditto that's faster than the Smeagol. So after it's done this, the next step is to switch into your Curum. 
This is really important because the Smeagol now is essentially just going to lock in on the only option it's got, which is the transform and turn itself into the Curum that we're now switching onto the field. And then we're going to be manipulating the battle where we're making the Smeagol after this turn lock into Imprison to shut out any options for us to be able to attack the next turn. And we're going to do that by actually using an item here. We're not going to attack this turn. We're just going to use a Super Potion or a Potion, anything like that. So the only Pokemon that's attacking this next turn is going to be the Smeagol, which is the Curum, and it'll lock into that Imprison and shut out any options for us to attack. Meaning when we go to attack this next turn, we can only use Struggle. As you'll see, we'll click into the battle option. We'll not get any options to choose from. This may go wins the speed tie this time around, but we'll have no options here and we'll only use struggle, which is exactly what we want to happen. So this next turn, everything's done with the battle. We just want to run away and we want to pay close attention to the Curum. If we run away and the Curum, which is the Smeagol, turns around and kind of warps, glitches away, then we know we've done this glitch right. If it just disappears, then we know we've not done it right. The Smeagol's not been in the right position here. So we'll just run away. We couldn't get away this time. But we need to pay close attention to make sure this glitch is set up correctly. And if it is, we'll see it pan out like that. It just disappeared, so... Didn't do it right, so we'll need to get another Smeagol and just try and reposition it slightly to make it into that perfect position. We've got one here, so we'll just try and get it to follow us. This is just a little bit further down. We just tweaked its location a little bit and we'll try the whole thing again. We'll go in and encounter it and we'll hopefully, it being in a slightly further down position to that clump of grass, closer to the tree a little, this will work. So we'll do the same process again. This can be quite a bit of a headache. Now, I got pretty lucky the first time I did it. It worked fine. And when I've been trying to duplicate it for this video, it's not been working as well. So just have a little bit of patience. Just try and tweak the position of the Smeagol slightly. You will get it if you keep at it. It's just getting the position of the Smeagol. Next turn, switch in the Curum. It has transformed into us and it will transform into the Curum. We'll use a potion again the next turn after this. And then we'll make sure that it locks in with that in prison. So we struggle the following turn after that. So this next turn, we'll just go to our bag. We'll use a super potion again on our Curum. And the Smeagol, which is now the Curum, we'll use in prison. And like I say, it's all about getting the Smeagol in that right position because if it's not in the right position you just won't be able to use it so now we're imprisoned we can go for an attack we'll use that struggle and the next turn what we're going to do is just run away and hopefully by tweaking the position of the Smeagol we get the glitch to work so we'll run away we've got away safely we'll see if it works it did okay you saw turn away and glitch out that means it's worked so now we look down at the tree and you can see the Curum is down there. So that means this glitch has worked. So it is just about tweaking the position of the Smeagol. It's so important for this glitch to work. Now what we want to do is get a Pokemon with the move trick. Make sure that it has got PP, of course. So you can use an Elixir or anything like that. The problem with using Curum is that it's got pressure. So you're going to like essentially use two every time you do this. But you want a Pokemon with trick in your party. And once you've got it at the top of your party, you just want to encounter the Curum. And you're going to be able to use the move trick. You are going to be stealing the item that is now on this Curum. It's essentially the exact Curum that you've turned into the Smeagol. And it's it's created this weird glitch. It's only going to have in prison as well. So you can see we stole the Safari Ball. We can run away. And now we're in this process. Once you've got that initial setup, you're going to be able to just encounter it over and over and over again, tricking over and over and over until you're kind of done. And every time you do the trick, you'll see that you're going to be taking a Safari Ball or whatever item that you've put onto the Pokemon to start this process initially to duplicate. So it's a really useful glitch. It's way easier than using anything like the item printer or anything like that. There is a bit of a process to getting it set up, but once you've got it set up, you're literally just going to be able to do this until your heart's content, until you've got as many of the items as you want. You just need to run away after you've tricked the item off the Pokemon and then re-encounter it to kind of trick it again. Uh, I'd say the only thing that you need to have is a bunch of Alexas, Ethers, or anything like that to make sure that you've got enough PP um, to be able to kind of keep doing this over and over again until you've got enough of the items that you want to duplicate. If you're going to use this duplication glitch, just use it to duplicate the items and then you can maybe catch the Pokemon when you're finished doing this, when you've got enough of the items, then catch it and then just release it and then you can repeat this process again with another item. But you'll have to start from the beginning again and do 
another item attached to your own prism user and then find another smeagol and then kind of rinse and repeat until you do get the glitch kind of activating where you get the curum appearing by the tree so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you found it useful i hope you have a lot of fun with this new duplication glitch like i say take advantage of it while it is available because it will be patched out no doubt very soon you never know it might not be patched out at all but i would say it probably will be patched out very very soon so like i say take advantage of it while it's there i hope you found it useful just have a bit of patience because it is all about getting that smeagol in that perfect position for this to actually work and once you have done the setup, you'll see that glitch where it turns away when you run away from the battle and then it'll appear down by the tree. And then you can just use this method to duplicate whatever item you want. Hope you found this video useful. Again, big shout out to Blaine's for bringing this to my attention for us to kind of share it with you guys here on the channel. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.